one ready to kick ass. Spitfire reporting in. Hang in there, W. Canada joining the battle. So, HQ really sent you up in space. Jason? Oh, what's with the outfit, man? Spiffy, huh? It's like I'm on goddamn parade. Yeah. Uh, wait, where are you exactly? <laughs> Order straight from the top. Some pencil pusher probably thought it would look good if they sent me to the UN as a military rep. I'm supposed to talk some favors out of the diplomats here. Truth be told, I don't know what they expect me to achieve. I'm a pilot, not a negotiator. Speaking of which, I don't know what you did, man, but I heard the president wants to talk to you. The president? Like in the Madam President of the United States? None other. Whoa. Better not keep her waiting. Good luck. Captain, this is the president. Reading you loud and clear, ma'am. We've got kind of a one-way ticket mission here that needs your immediate attention. I don't think you're supposed to tell the soldier that it's a suicide mission. Well, El only U.S. orbital presence at the moment is the J.W. Bush, and we can't afford to risk that. You, on the other hand, are flying an Australian craft, so I'd say you're pretty much more expandable. I take it you volunteer for this mission? But, okay, I guess it's not like I have a choice, right? So tell me, who's gonna kill me today? That's the spirit. I have someone on the line who'll brief you. She's been my advisor now for a while, and she's relatively new to calling the shots in a military fashion, but I like her, and she's got ambition. What else could you ask for? <laughs> Hello, this is Renate Richter speaking. Do you hear me? Loud and clear. Why, hello there, my little home skillet. <laughs> the Nazi fleet is approaching Earth. But please don't be alarmed. I'm sure they come in peace. The ships and guns and everything, well, I think it's just to impress you guys. What they really want for the people on Earth is to show them the way to a brighter future of love and peace and bravery and discipline. Yeah, I'm sure they're really touchy-feely. I don't see how this could possibly go tits up. Um, just for safety, try to contact the Admiral of the fleet and convince that the use of force is not necessary. He sometimes has a tendency to be, how do you Americans say, trigger-happy? Anyway, he's on one of the Zeppelins. His name is Obergruppenführer Admiral Wilhelm Kreutz. Wow, now that's a mouthful. Doesn't he have a nickname or something? <laughs> Sauerkraut? Bratwurst? Admiral Kreuz should be enough, I'm sure. He means well. No doubt. Okay then, wish me luck. I somehow get the feeling I'm gonna need it. Operative has departed. Jason, you think you have it bad with babysitting the diplomats? Don't even get me started. I am supposed to negotiate peace with the Nazis. What? Those are hostiles, man. Everybody knows that. No worries. I don't plan on sticking around and chat. Damn. I should be up there with you. You need someone to keep your ass out of hot water. Ah, uh, that right. Yeah, last time we flew together, I seem to remember that you... Shit. The ambassadors are coming. Look, I gotta go. I'll do what I can to help you out from here, all right? Just try not to get shot, would you? All right, let's do this. Embrace yourself. You too, pal. Calculating flight trajectory. Executing flight. Flight completed. Admiral Kreuzi, uh, I come to negotiate. Please don't shoot. Meine volle Rangbezeichnung ist Obergruppenführer Admiral Wilhelm Kreuzi sind beauftragt, die Kapitulationsbedingungen auszuhandeln. 
Uh, I'm not exactly authorized to do that, so no, I was supposed to tell you to stop the attack and return to... Oh, oh der war gut. <laughs> Verzeihung, uh, mit wem habe ich nochmal das Vergnügen? Welchen Rang haben Sie? Wie ist der Dienstgrad? I am captain of... I'm captain? Im Angesicht Ihres Untergangs schicken Sie mir einen einfachen Captain? Man darf die Dummheit dieser Untermenschen niemals unterschätzen. Das hat schon mein Großvater gesagt. Hey, well, I am here on the orders from the Madam President of the U.S., so... Yeah, all right, so this isn't gonna work, is it? Sie können abtreten, Soldat. Sagen Sie Ihren Vorgesetzten, dass unsere Flotte die Erde einnehmen wird und dass jeder Widerstand ausgemerzt wird. Alle Mann auf Station! Startet die Waffensysteme und lasst die Walküren los! Wir sind im Krieg! Dude, I'm right here. Ein Großvater das noch erleben kann. Do you copy, man? Loud and clear. Hey, are you all right? Getting better all the time. The Nazis are attacking the Korean base. So much for peace negotiations, huh? Well, there's no reasoning with a Nazi. But you can sure as hell shoot him. You're at my mind. Listen, keeping that base safe is critical to our mission. They have to survive. I'm on it. Transferring energy to shields. 
Salvage collected. I saw what you did there. Not bad, huh? Are you kidding? I love it. I feel like I'm living vicariously through you. Yeah, that got intense at one point. <laughs> you deserve a reward, man. So that means a raise? <laughs> You're kidding, right? The Koreans want to give you one of their ships. They say you are the best. You know, can't blame them. Yeah, you aren't too bad. If you want that ship, just pick it up from their base. Oh, sure will. We'll see what that baby's got. It could be a nice piece of hardware. Well, I guess that's it. Take care, man. Till next time. <laughs>